But, you know, if he were to lay down, pastor down. Down. Nope. Down. Down. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Banner Retrieves YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Gunner Kennels. We are super happy with our Gunner Kennels. We love them, we love our dogs, and we want to keep them safe. So the last time that I did a video on the Gunner Kennel, I was doing an unboxing and somewhat of a review of the Midnight Black series that we got for Pastor. Now we have two dogs and we need two Gunner Kennels. So what I wanted to go over with you today was the size of these kennels and my dogs. So kind of the fitment of the dogs in the kennels. Both of these kennels are the intermediate kennels. They're one size down from the largest kennel. Uh, you can find them on gunnerkennel.com. They are awesome kennels. I can't say enough good things about them, but I want to show you the size difference between my two dogs. One of them's young and one of them's three years old. Maybelline's six months and she's 26 pounds, although she is a very small dog to be a Labrador. Um, she's going to continue to be a small dog, but she'll grow to be probably 45 or 50 pounds and that's gonna be a good size for this intermediate kennel. Pastor goes about 70 pounds, 67 to 70 pounds, uh, depending on the time of the year, but this is a good size for him and you're gonna see that for him. But these kennels are designed so that they're smaller for the dog. You don't wanna have a lot of room for the dog to kinda of bash around. If you were to get into a wreck or an accident, you don't want the dogs to have too much room to be banging around and eventually hurt themselves. So you wanna keep them kind of tight, a tight fit, which you'll see that with Pastor. Right now, Maybelline is a little small for the intermediate kennel, but again, she's gonna grow into that. So I'm gonna show you the different sizes of my dogs now. So you can see this is Pastor. Pastor is three-year-old Black Lab. Uh, like I said, he's probably about 67, 68 pounds right now. He's not quite able to stand, you know, set straight up when he's in a sit position. He's stuffed in it pretty well. I know it looks like he's probably too big, but he was really not. He curls up in it and lays down in it most of the time. This is going back to that safety factor. You really don't want him bumping and rolling around if you were to get into an accident. So it's a really good fit for him. And I'm kind of going to show you what uh, he looks like when he's laying down in it. So that's kind of what he looks like when he's uh, when he's down in the down position. You can see he's got plenty of room. His feet hang out the front, but again, he he curls up and uh, takes a nice little nap when he's when he's back there. So next thing I want to show you is how he kind of gets out and gets back into the kennel and I'll show you how he gets in the back and kind of turns around, turns himself around facing forward. Uh, Maybelline's probably not gonna do this just because she's so young and um, we haven't really worked a whole lot of kennel stuff yet, but this is all natural to Pastor. He's been doing it his whole life, so um, I'm gonna show you that now. Pastor here. So you kind of see how he turn, turns around. So that's the fit of the Black Lab, British Black Lab. He's uh, 68 pounds, three years old and uh, this is a perfect fit for him. So this is Maybelline. Maybelline is a six month old black lab and uh, she goes about 26 pounds. You can tell she's a lot smaller, but eventually she's gonna fit into this intermediate kennel just the way she's supposed to. Um, but she, uh, she's nice and content uh, in it now. We've got her a little blanket in there. It is more uh, space than probably what she needs or what it's fit for, but you know, within the next four to six months, she's gonna fill that up. Not quite as big as Pastor will be, but she'll go about 45 or 50 pounds. We'll show you then uh, whenever she gets big enough, but I did want to show you just a puppy size in an intermediate kennel. So you can see Maybelline's size as she's sitting in there. She can sit all the way up, actually. Um, she's getting a little bit taller, so when she stands, I don't know that she can fully straighten herself up, but you can see she's standing straight up there. And she's, she's 26 pounds. She's gonna be big enough to fit this kennel one day. So we already had Pastor's, this is Pastor's old one. And then we upgraded to the very, very awesome Midnight Edition uh, that Gunner came out with. I like all black. I wish that both of them were all black, but Maybelline inherited Pastor's hand-me-down. So this is, uh, this is a good size for her, will be a good size for her. She could probably do smaller right now, but of course these dogs grow so fast. Here within the next four to six months, she's gonna be in there um, and, and be just the right size for these. So I just wanna show you the, uh, the fit um, of them in the back of my truck. So this is two of them side by side. They fit great in my F-250. They kind of take up half the length of it and most of the width on the front half. 
And then you can see I've got extra space, you know, to put dog blinds and training equipment and stuff that's in there now. So then the flip top can flip back too, and that will show the other a uh, little over a half of the truck that it covers. So you can see I've got them strapped down, one across the front, one across the back. Gunner Kennel actually sells kits for this. You can strap both of them together um, and then strap them both to the truck. So it would be a pack of either four or six. Or six. Um, and I just got a regular strap from Lowe's and one across the front, one across the back, and it holds them in really nice and secure. You definitely want to strap these down. You don't want to take them on a trip or anywhere else that you could potentially wreck or have an accident and uh, then the kennel go flying. That would kind of defeat the purpose of the safety feature here. So definitely want to keep those uh, locked in and secure to your truck. You can see the weather kit on Maybelline's. I've got one ordered for pastors. This is the 2.0 version, but um, you know, this is the weather kit that, that keeps the rain and the, the snow and maybe some of the wind off of them as you're uh, going down the road there. So you can see this plate right here on the side where you can link, I would link a chain here and then secure it to my truck, which is what I'll do. I just put these in yesterday, but um, I'll have a lock on there to secure them to the uh, truck and keep the thieves away. So that's all the time that we have for you guys today. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, you know, as always, like and subscribe to our channel. And if you like this content, hit the bell notification to get notifications for more content like this. We appreciate you guys. And as always, happy hunting.